Welcome to TechRazor's Dharma. In this video, we are going to get the list of VMs and their power state by using Azure Resource Graph Explorer. Why it is important? Maybe you have been creating a lot of VMs and now maybe you have shut them down or stopped them and they are in the power state deallocating. But still those VMs which you have created, they have used maybe disk and ICs and all that and you are still paying the charges for that. So you want to get the list of all those VMs which are in state, not running state and then want to find out if those VMs which are in the D allocation, if they are really in use, maybe you have just stopped them during some hours or maybe you have stopped them forever and then you want to have a discussion with your team and maybe drop them, delete them and all that and get rid of extra bill you every month you pay for it. This can be done with Azure Resource Group Explorer very easy. So let's go ahead and take a look on the Azure portal. Here I am I and uh, I looked for virtual machines and uh, then uh, it is showing me my virtual machines. Um, there are two virtual machines, uh, VM1 and VM2 and uh, they have different operating system, uh, Linux and uh, Windows. Uh, now right here you can see their state uh, is called the run. You know? So that is a uh, great and I can go ahead and do, do one thing. I can simply go and uh, then uh, I can stop this one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stop now this is a one way to see on the portal but I'm more interested to go on the Azure graph explorer so I'm gonna open right there so if you are here in the subscription now let's go to subscription here or resource group then you're gonna see a tab called open query so if I'm in this subscription I'm gonna click right there and uh, in the subscription you will go to the resource groups or resources and uh, once you click right there you're gonna see this open query and uh, that's where we will be able to write uh, our Kusta query to find this uh, information um, I have already written this query and I'm gonna copy that and paste um, so right here I'm gonna go back here and paste my query so I'm looking into the resources table where I'm looking only for virtual machines and then I'm extending adding access extra column called status and properties dot extended dot instance view power state dot code so that's the property I'm getting and then saving equal to the status column I also want to get host name so that will be coming from properties dot os profile dot computer name and then project means show me these columns so we have a few columns are coming from subscription and resource directly from here and these are the extended columns we have just added a status and VM name I can also rename the uh, columns here instead of saying name I said VM name and then I order by the subscription so if I run this query it's gonna return me the list of the VMs so here is my subscription here is my resource groups here are my VM names and then uh, you see the host name and VM names uh, there are two column uh, right there and here is the status uh, for one uh, it is called the power state running and other one is power state deallocating uh, so it is very easy for me to go here and uh, take a look uh, on different uh, uh, states uh, power states of the VMs uh, and also I can if I want to filter just for the resource group I can always go here and then put simply right there where resource group equal to and uh, equal to and double quote double quotes and vm2 underscore group with the uh, portal uh, you might not have uh, this much uh, uh, facility to filter these uh, records uh, and also you can uh, further maybe in the some uh, specific resources uh, you're looking for some specific names of those VMs or uh, maybe you have hundreds of VM and uh, you want to look for only few of them uh, so this gives you a lot of uh, capability to write this all in the query and handle that and return you the required results uh, so I thank you for watching this video what I will do I will put uh, the uh, query in the description uh, so you can use it and I hope uh, this video will help also I, I just want to show you here there are other tables uh, that you can use uh, to get to tons of information um, so this is just a starting point uh, you know where uh, you can uh, just explore even the resources table and uh, get so much information uh. 
I will suggest you watch my other Azure resource Graph Explorer videos and also the Kusto Query tutorial to learn more about Kusto. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.